Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about a big money bolo. And this bolo comes in many shapes, sizes, different things, all kinds of stuff, things you may not even know about. One of my biggest bolos to date was something to do with this category. So, Let's get started. And I'll probably have the category on the thumbnail. So it's probably not even going to be a surprise. Let's get started. <laughs> All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this Mon Jong set. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. You're going to see that this one is different than the one I'm about to show you. So this one sold for $888.88. We are talking about Bakelite in this video. Oh my goodness, you guys. It comes in different shapes and sizes, different formats. You've got game pieces. You've got jewelry. You've got all kinds of things that come in Bakelite. And I am just going to share with you some big money bolos to be on the lookout for. All right, so I'm going to show you this one. But now I'm going to show you the one I sold and I got way more than $888 for mine. And I'm going to tell you why in this video right now. I went to the garage sale on Thursday. I bought some stuff. I went to the back to the garage sale on Friday. I bought a whole bunch more stuff, passed on this both times, went back again on Saturday with my husband. And I'm like, what do you think about this game? I'm like, he's asking 100, but he said he'd do 50. So the guy came out as I was talking to my husband. I'm like, well, would you throw in this little pile of stuff and I'll give you 50? And he was like, yeah. So I ended up over four days paying $520 for a ton of stuff. And I did not do a haul video on it. It was so much stuff. But I ended up taking a best offer of $1,350 for this. If I had known that it was worth that much money, I would have gave him $100 all day long. I had no idea. I didn't know it was Bakelite. I didn't even know what the game was called. So to my surprise, this uh, two-tone color is definitely sought after. It's more rare. I don't know if I could have got more for this, but it was missing one of the number sixes but I did have two pieces that were, um, that were extra blanks. So it could still be played. So anyway, the guy on eBay was negotiating with me and he said that he will have to find some other pieces so that he can play the American version. And that was why he was only offering me $1,350. So anyway, I'm thrilled with it. It was one of those things where I felt like I was taking a chance, but ended up really paying off. So super, super exciting. My best bolo to date. Okay. So now that you have seen that video, what do you guys think? I think that's one of my biggest bolos ever, like for a single item. And you can see right here, this person got positive feedback on that. So it was a good sale. And that was a butterscotch Bakelite. Mine was different, as you saw in my video. The next item are these Bakelite radios. They are vintage. They are harder to find. And they are amazing. This one sold for $1,300 with 24 bids. Look at that. I would not plug that in. And you can see right here, it was also a good sale. It's a FADA or FADA, F-A-D-A is the brand. The next item is a pipe. It says antique genuine German Bruyere hunting pipe. And I probably really said that wrong. Wood and Bakelite stem. There you go. $83.99 on that. Would you have picked it up or walked right past it? So it's not completely Bakelite. Just has a little Bakelite on it. $83.99 on that. This is 53 vintage Bakelite beads. So if you get a broken necklace, 
Don't dismiss it. This sold for $330, just the beads. And you can see it was a good sale. Feedback was left. This is a vintage Bakelite zigzag butterscotch and red swirl bangle bracelet. And I do have a video on how to test for Bakelite on my channel. If you type into the YouTube search, Bolo Buddies Bakelite, I show you how to do this. And it's a great way to figure out if something is Bakelite or not. And from doing this video, I have learned a few things. And when I get to those items, we're going to talk about it because I'm still not convinced. <laughs> I'm like, are, are they sure this is Bakelite? Because I have never seen Bakelite like this. So stay tuned and we're going to discuss that. But this bracelet went for $381. And it does seem like the red is a sought after color. Um, I sold quite a few of my bangle Bakelite bracelets on whatnot. I think I had seven or eight and I sold out of those on whatnot. So if you're not following me on whatnot, definitely come over there. I am Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase. It is an auction site. It's a selling site if you're not familiar with it. I do have a link down below. It's my referral link. You can get $15 to shop when you join. So definitely check out that. And you can see right here that zigzag bracelet was a completed good sale. Says not a lot of real ones still. I don't know what that means. This is eBay, the best, very rare vintage Bakelite cat bangle bracelet for Halloween. There you go. Look at that. Halloween is a good word to put in the title, vintage Halloween specifically. Now, I don't really think this looks Halloween-y <laughs> Halloween to me, but hey, you know, I guess it could be. 135.83 on that one. This is a vintage Art Deco Bakelite marbled candy dish. So I'm not sure. It, I guess marbled is the color of the Bakelite. $585 on that one. And there you go. Positive feedback. The next item are these trophies. Something you may just walk past. If you see one that looks like Bakelite, look it up. I'm not sure if it's the Bakelite that sold this or if it's the specific trophy, to be honest with you. But this sold for $610. Here is a Cherry Amber Bakelite Graduated Oval Bead Necklace. Look at these beads. $650. And you can see how the clasp goes into the necklace. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like a bead. Wowza. $650 for that. How pretty. The next one, and you can see they got paid and positive feedback. The next one is this antique vintage marbled desk set. It's an inkwell. And there it is. $571 on that. So some of these things you may not think about if you don't know about it. So there's lots of different types of Bakelite that go for big money. Now, I did a video on a sleeper bolo and I talked about Martha Sleeper. And you guys should definitely go watch that video because I sold something on Whatnot for $12 that was Martha Sleeper. And it goes anywhere from $150 to $350. That was the low and high solds for it. And you can learn more about that. But I talk about this brand, Martha Sleeper. And I also sold a brooch by Martha Sleeper that is not Bakelite that you're going to want to know about because I had no idea. And I was actually... Somebody on eBay reached out to me and told me what it was. So type in Bolo Buddies Sleeper and you can check out that video. But this one sold for $699.99. And there's your feedback. 
This is a Bakelite Marble Lighter by Ro Rowanetta. Rowanetta. I'm not sure how to say that, but this is what it looks like. How pretty is that? That marbled color. Pretty, pretty. $710. Wow. There's your feedback. These are Vintage Deco Bakelite Poker Caddy Chips. And it says Catalan in a lot of these also. And this sold for $220.50. This is a heavily carved translucent green Bakelite flower hinged clamper bracelet. All right. So this is the one that I had no idea that Bakelite could be translucent. Does anybody know about this? Can I get some more information? <laughs> because I would have had no idea. I wouldn't have tested something that was translucent. No clue. $215 on that. So I just want to make sure that this person actually knows, but I, they have vintage jewels in their name. So I'm guessing they know. Here is a gorgeous vintage multicolor bow tie Bakelite bangle. $1,500. What? Look how cool the side is. That is amazing. Wow. That is sweet. And then here's another one that they sold. Vintage carved bright red Bakelite strawberries. It's another clamper bracelet, it says. There it is. That's another one. I don't know if I would have lo looked at that and thought Bakelite. I'm used to just the simple, you know, bangles. Isn't that cool? $395. This is an Art Deco Bakelite Siamese Cat Spinach End of Day Swirl. <laughs> spinach End of Day Swirl. There you go. How cool is that? $99.99 on that guy. Siamese cat. Is it a brooch? Yep, it's a brooch. Here is another. Um, these are just the racks. The Burgundy Bakelite game racks. Incomplete. I don't know if these were a part of this or not. And there's only one po photo. But it just says racks in title. So not sure on that one. But the racks are Bakelite also. As long as also along with the tiles. This is a antique vintage Catalan Bakelite marbled desk set. $596 on this beauty. Look how pretty that is. I think Bakelite's awesome. The next item is just this marbled base. So even if you get them and they are incomplete, this sold for $117.50. This is another one that is, it's reverse carved. It says eBay, the best Sea Life Vintage Bakelite Bangle Bracelet Reverse Carved. I don't know why it says eBay in the title, but look at this. It has fish in it. Not real fish, guys, but it's carved on the inside. So if you ever see anything like that, I cannot believe this only sold for $156.50. To me, this is amazing. How cool is that? The next item is this Bakelite Big Bead. Antique Red Cherry Amber Bakelite uh, Faturin, Faturin Big Bead Veins. Damari, 23 grams. I don't know what any of that means, but I'm guessing if you collect Bakelite, you know what that means. So it's really a darker bead as seen, but when they put it up to that light, it really gives it a, um, you can see all the swirls. So it looks like it's sitting maybe on top of a flashlight. So there is a little tip for selling Bakelite. Um, a little tip to show, I guess, like the veining in it. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Veining? $219.99 for one bead. It is a big bead. How cool is that? And you can see right here that it sold for 140 and positive feedback was left. So how many of these 
were a surprise to you? Did you know about all these different Bakelite bolos? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to come over to Whatnot and check me out over there. I do a lot of unsearched untanglings, which is super fun. I also have category shows like vintage shows and bling shows, different things like that, bundle shows. So I hope to see you there. Check out the, the description. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching. Oh, and if you guys know about that translucent Bakelite, let me know more info on that in the comments. Have you ever sold it? Was it big money? How'd you know? <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.